In-app A-B testing. In-app A-B testing is one of the most powerful tools to optimize your app's inside behavior and conversions. With in-app A-B testing, we can optimize the display timing or design of the different elements we've talked about. Practically any event in the app can be optimized to maximize its conversion. Ads to get more clicks, more in-app purchases, and more rate box positive ratings, for example. The testing can be also used to determine which opening screen is more effective in the very initial conversions of new users taking the next steps after opening your app on the onboarding. For that we will use the in-app A-B testing which will test two cases and over time will show you if one is performing better than the other. Like any other A-B testing, remember, since one test can influence another's result, it is recommended to conduct one test at a time. How can we determine which variant won the test? If at all. We will need to keep in mind a couple of parameters. The number of people who were exposed to the A-B test and the percentage of conversion difference between variant A and B. The number of users which are exposed to the test needs to be on a scale of thousands in order to be accurate enough. The difference between the A and B results should be higher than 5% in order for us to decide to take action and determine that A is functioning better than B or vice versa. If the difference is not high enough, it cannot be clear enough whether or not it is just a coincidence and therefore we cannot take any action. Let's take a look at the Firebase A-B testing mechanism with remote config. If you are going to use Firebase A-B testing, most of the work is already done for you. Remote config is an easy to use functionality Firebase offers to set a server side configuration which the app can check in runtime. For instance, I can create a show add every X drawings parameter and give it a number of 3. If I would like to instantly change the frequency of the add displays after the number of waves to 2, I simply need to change it on the server, in this example Firebase remote config. But the change doesn't make any sense since I need to prove that three waves are better than two or vice versa. So I need to prove it actually works better, right? And this is why we're going to create an A-B test using Firebase. Let's name it add every X waves test. Next, we're going to choose the app. Let's choose the Android app. And then you can easily set up the number of users of course, the more parameters you add here, the more conditions, the less users are going to be exposed to the experiment because the new version that we uploaded that supports remote config is a specific version and we only want the experiment to include users who have the functionality of the remote config, right? So only users that have the version 4.3.7 or above will be exposed to the experiment. This is important because you don't want to uh, trying to serve on the Firebase side to a version, let's say 4.2, who doesn't even support the remote config with uh, our specific parameter of the add every X wave because we didn't implement it then. If we're going to do this and not include, for instance, the uh, version parameter, it's not going to be effective. So what's going to happen that people that cannot serve the experiment are just going to be exposed to it and the experiment will be full of flaws. So that's not good, right? Additionally, I would also like to try this experiment specifically in a specific country, let's say Israel. Okay, we can start with 25%, 2000 users, that's good. If we're not satisfied with this percentage of exposure, we can always change it in the future. Next, and this is a goal. So in the goal, I would like to see how it affects the ad revenue, right? Because the experiment is focused on whether to display an ad after two waves or after three waves. Let's choose estimated ad revenue. And here we can choose another parameter, estimated total revenue. And we would like to see the retention as well, not only four to seven days. Let's add another retention. So the uh, one day retention to see if it affects it in the immediate term. Additionally, I would like to see if it affects the in-app purchases. So I will add it as well. Now this is important, this is a parameter that we would like to change. Show add every X drawings. Okay, so at the baseline, the first variant is with no change. But on variant A, I would like it to be 3 instead of 2. Okay, so now it doesn't say it here, but it's going to be 2. 
which is the, va the default value, and it's going to confront it versus three. Two waves, three waves. Okay, this is a summary. Add every X waves test. Estimated ad revenue is a primary goal. We also have the uh, retention and the estimated total revenue and the one day retention and the in-app purchases. So you will be handed with all of these results to see which variant is more effective in each in each of these uh, results. It's on the Android app. It's only version 4.3.7 and above, which contains the show at every X drawings variable and can change it dynamically by the given value from the remote config. So we can go ahead and start the experiment. Now it's just waiting for the experiment data to arrive. It can take a couple of days, so you need to be patient, especially if you don't have a lot of users. Um, if you would like to increase the distribution, especially if you don't have enough users, you need to increase it to 100%, maybe even. Once you're satisfied about the results and you think that variant A performed better, you can roll out this variant. If you don't, you can stop the experiment. And here you can see the different goals that we set and here you will see how each variant performed. Don't worry, in the next video we will go through an actual experiment. The simple in-app testing scenario. There is a login page and you would like to test two covers. Variant A is an image, variant B is a video. The goal is to get more user login events, which means that the user moved on to the next step and took action. Notice it is critical we use the very next analytics event, which indicates the user actually advanced to the very next step, not the whole onboarding completion which might contain more steps after the login page. So 50% of the users will be shown variant A, the image, variant B will show the video. We just need to upload the version containing the test, run it, and then see if there are conclusive results. 